We got these beautiful vibes up here. I know, right? What's your What's your name and tell me your background? It's uh, Larry Smith, and I'm a film director and music video producer. Mainly people come to me for uh, music video production because that's kind of what I specialize in. I've done every genre like R&B, rap, rock, um, and it's crazy because each video calls for a different type of atmosphere mm -hmm. and vibe. I would definitely say a lot of artists approach me because I write storylines. which. Okay which in music video world the terminology is called a treatment. Okay. So I write an actual script, okay. a treatment for the artist, basically outline everything I see in my head to bring his music video to life. And then we'll go through it and break it down. And you know, if they have questions or whatever, I'll do another consultation with them to make sure that they give us the green light. On high production value. Mm -hmm. So basically whatever the artist is paying me, I make their videos look like we spent hundred, two hundred thousand dollars on it, if not yeah, more. Exactly. If not five hundred thousand dollars. And that's brings me back to the whole overall selling point is me bringing an experience to an artist. And that means being able to provide this type of stuff on such a minimal budget scale yeah. that I can make your video look like we spent, you know, a hundred grand. There's a difference between a performance video and a narrative driven video, like mm -hmm. a story driven video. Yeah. And usually I'm more of on the side of story driven okay. music video production. But there's some videos up here where I just like to have fun with them and just let the artists do what they want as far as performance. Like the video up there, the Got Soka one with the mm -hmm. motorcycle and stuff, that was just a performance based music video. And um, even Olivia's video down here with yeah. the motorcycle down there, that's a performance base. But you got ones like the one up there, it's more of a narrative driven story type of video. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, resources as far as friends. And a lot of people trust me with their stuff because once they see this type of quality, they're like, oh man, this dude's a real professional, real deal type of you know, producer and yeah. director, they're like, he's not gonna tear up my stuff. Like, each one of my videos, I mean, it's like hundreds of thousands of dollars of stuff in there. The one thing about me being such a, a good director is the fact that I understand everybody's job. Because so, you've done it. because I've done it, like, boom operating sound design, cinematography, lighting, all that stuff. I've been a grip. I always want to make it fun, even though it's a high stress environment, because we know how to handle the stress because we've been dealing with it for so many years, we know how to make it fun and get the stress out of the equation because we already know filmmaking is a high stressful environment. But the thing is, we're so used to that stress, we don't want to make that stress go on the client and we know how to deal with it, with it as professionals. Yeah, and speaking about that professional, Curtis, right, is his name that you work with? Yeah, Curtis uh, Edlin. A very, uh, a lot. So tell, tell us a little about uh, Curtis as well, because he's, uh, in that last B-roll we did, he was rocking the huge mm -hmm. robotics and all that. So tell us about Curtis, how did you guys meet, and why is he such a great asset? Yeah, Curtis, we met at Missouri Western, and we met in college. We both went to Missouri Western State University, okay. and we both got our degree in theater and cinema. And he's, he's the man behind the camera. Like, we met, we really vibed in a uh, music video production class. Oh, cool. So my teacher, Dallas, he offered that to us, and he asked me, like, hey, Larry, you know, would you like to be in a music video production class? And I was like, heck yeah, I'd love to be. I'm going to kill that. Yeah. You know, I'm going to kill that. Mm -hmm. And next, you know, me and Curtis, we basically vibe because I was such a visionary mm -hmm. as far as like production design and storyline and hiring models. I've had models back in college, I've had models come from all over the country. Because I carried such a professional manner when I came to proposing ideas to them and stuff. And that gives them exposure for their next game, Exactly, right? especially with video work, because a lot of models just take pictures. Mm -hmm. But when you get that video reel going for an Instagram channel, their freaking views jump up like crazy because you see them in motion. Mm -hmm. So video offers a different type of vibe versus a still image because 
you take the guesswork out of the still image with the video because you see them in motion, see how they talk, see how they act, their personality kind of. Yeah. The picture's worth a thousand words for a reason because it's all up to self-interpretation. Where do you get these negotiations? That's <laughs> another huge thing, right? It's, it's years of practice. Like, it's, it's crazy because like, I don't know, I've had so much experience just talking to people. And like I said, when it goes back to that professional mannerism thing, where it's like, you don't want people to doubt your professionalism. Like, my whole motto is to respect people's locations and property and stuff like that, and treat it with the utmost respect. But hey, you show up, perform, we shoot it, and that's all you need to worry about. Because we provide the cars, we provide the models, we provide the dance choreography, we provide the locations, the storyboarding, all that stuff. The cinematography, the editing is all a one-stop shop. So when an artist comes to me and potentially wants to hire me and, and, and be my client, I show them the stuff like, they're like, so, you know, what all does this come with? It like, comes with everything. You don't have to do anything except show up and perform. Make sure you know your lyrics. That's all you need to know. Sign me up, Larry. <laughs> let's go, let's do it. <laughs>